from days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is a story of a super force of space explorers, specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Hey guys, welcome back to Com Again. This is Shannon. I don't have a book review for you this week. However, I was at my local Walmart just a little bit ago and I picked up the legendary Black Lion from DreamWorks and Netflix's Voltron Legendary Defender. This is the deluxe edition that uh, combines to assemble Voltron. Uh, as you can see, it's 16 inches according to the box. This ran me about $30 at Walmart. Go ahead and take a look at the packaging. As you can see, it very visible from the front and from the top got a nice little picture of Voltron there and from the sides as well and you can see on this one it shows each line that you can purchase to form Voltron very cool uh, I didn't see any of the other lines there in this size. Uh, they had some of the uh, miniature ones that didn't uh, assemble to form Voltron. But I had a Black Lion as a kid. I lost it. I wanted to get a new one. So here it is. Unlock 50 plus phrases and sound effects. 25 plus points of articulation. Got a little description here of Voltron. On the packaging here it shows you which, one, which line you bought. Got a yellow goldish yellow outline here for the black line so and then as you can see on the bottom it does show you all five lines so let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a look at the articulation so real quick before i take it completely out i wanted to show you how it was sealed here Got a couple of zip ties holding the neck, leg, waist, other leg of the line. And then you got a couple twi plastic twist ties holding the wings, this leg in place. Um, then you got just this little pl plastic, um, I forget what they're called blow mold or whatever you want to call it holding it in place it's a little bit of plastic here protecting the corners all right guys so here it is out of the package first things first comes with a little shiro paladin now in this version of voltron shiro is the pilot of the black line uh in the original and uh third dimension as well as um Voltron Force. Uh, it was Keith who piloted the Black Lion. Uh, however, in this version, it's Shiro, who was uh, actually Sven in the original series. And he... Here's his little uh, transportation thingy, pod, whatever you want to call it. And... It goes, there's an opening, as you can see here, there is a little place for your thumb. Let's pull that down. And he slides right in there. And he'll be safe inside. Alright, so now it does have some sound effects it makes. All 
right so there's the majority of the uh, audio stuff let's see here I have I literally just took this out of the package I haven't had a chance to play around with it yet so bear with me guys I have watched a few other videos uh, such as pixel pixel dance uh, review on this so the legs we need to increase firepower ratchet joint got that ratchet joint let me zoom out here a little bit all right nice tight ratchet joints uh, it that's as far forward as it will go um, but it does go backward pretty far and then we got the knees we got the knees here another tight ratchet joint then a third ratchet joint here no very tight you can hear it click then the ankle another tight ratchet joint the front that ratchet joint isn't too tight but it's not super loose either very nice Another ratchet joint there, and I believe there's another one. No, there is not one at this paw. The mouth does open and close. And open it pretty, pretty far there, and as you can see. The face of Voltron is hidden inside. The ears do open up when you form Voltron. Form Voltron! The now wings go on the offensive. The wings do go back and forth. Up and down. You get a nice little flapping feature there. Nice little ratchet joint and go all the way forward. Now to the side. Go back. Nice little ratchet on the wings. The tail, it just goes back and forth. The front does light up. Voltron is the only thing that can stop Sarkon. Let's assemble Voltron and get rid of these Golra. Not too bad a paint job, really. Um, I think that's where the speaker is right there. does open up the paws just go in just like that and you rotate it around just like that whenever you're ready to form Voltron which we're not gonna do today because I don't have the other lines but like that all right but we can at least kind of pose him like he's getting ready to form Voltron I guess for purposes of paint now on this I don't like that 
they left the forehead gray. The whole thing should be blue. I can't remember if that's how it was in the uh, Netflix show or not, but I do know the original series, it was blue. Then on the nose here, you, they didn't do that great of a job with the paint. Got some, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get used to doing the toy reviews. Got some very sloppy paint work here on the nose. There we go. There, you can see that a lot better. Very sloppy paintwork on the nose here. Some bleeding off on the forehead here. Uh, let's see how the ears turned out. If I can get the ears to open up. There we go. Well. The ears need to be played with a little bit, but not bad. They seem to have been painted before they were put in, so that's good. You got plain white neck. One thing I didn't like about this Voltron, um, in the series anyway, is this complete redesign of the chest piece. You know, the original Voltron, he had the cross and the multicolors here, you know. And then the Blazing Sword was just, it wasn't Voltron's usual Blazing Sword. Which, for, for an update, I guess is okay. But, at the same time, I would have liked to see them use the original Blazing Sword. Um, we need to increase firepower! Let's go ahead and turn that back off. Pretty nice work on the uh, belt looking part here. Looks very mechanical. Um, not too bad of a job on the red, and blue, and black. Not too sloppy. The main sloppiness for the paint was on the nose and the uh, forehead here. Everything else looks pretty good. Um, the claws are made up of a little bit softer plastic. Uh, it's not like a rubbery plastic, um, but it is a little bit softer than the main design of the lion. Let's see here. Let's take a look at the back. I really wish they would have made it to where the legs went forward a little bit more. Because on actual lions and cats, it, most animals that walk on four legs, you know, the leg, this part of the leg is actually forward a little bit more. And the knees are a little bit more bent. So, that's one of my few gripes about this, really. Um, other than that, pretty solid toy. Um... You know what, let's go ahead and take a look at the paint on Shiro. Not much to Shiro, really. Just got the blue windshield, and the rest of it's black. Um, got a little bit of paint bleeding on the inside with the blue. But overall, not too bad. I would guarantee that this plate... This piece would be a uh, very easy pay piece to lose. So I'm going to recommend just keeping it up inside there. As you can see, there's the speaker. All right. Let's go ahead and put this back in line form. And there we go. Voltron Legendary Defender Legendary Black Line. Uh, I believe it said 16 inch. Yeah. Uh. Like I said before, I haven't had a Voltron Lion in a very long time. I believe uh, I did have the Black Lion originally. Uh, he had a little bit boxier look. 
Um, but I haven't had one since the late 80s. So this is a real trip right down memory lane. Very cool figure. I can't wait to get the other four lions and form Voltron. I'm very excited that they uh, came out with these toys and that they released them to stores like Walmart and Target. Uh, I was very surprised to actually be able to find one while I was at Target today, or at Walmart today. Uh, like I said, it's about a $30 price, uh, which isn't too bad for uh, one of this size. I've seen other toys about this size with less articulation that have gone for a lot more. So this isn't too bad. So yeah, until next time, guys.
Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, maybe put a comment below, and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to head on over to our Facebook page, links are in the description below.